So here we have two XB S2C module. So let's connect the first XB module to the first Zigbee. So let me connect it. So we were going to configure the Zigbee is in the in the, in the coordinator mode and uh, the Zigbee will be in a router mode. So let's first configure the Zigbee. So let's go back to the computer and do this. Whenever we uh, try to connect our Zigbee first time, uh, we should have to update the firmware. But before that, we should have to search for the Zigbee that we have connected to the laptop. So just hit on this uh, search icon and then select the Zigbee that uh, is connected to your laptop and then hit next and then hit finish. And it will take a couple of minutes to set up the um, Zigbee here. So let's wait for a while. So now you can see your Zigbee is detected as COM4 and here is a MAC address. So hit on add selected device and you can see your Zigbee is listed in the left pan. So by default your Zigbee is a Zigbee thrake function and it is in the AD mode and here is the MAC address of your Zigbee. So first thing first we have to update the firmware so we should first click on the Zigbee and you will get the setup setting options here once uh, all the settings loaded we should have to update the firmware so click on update button and then select the product family xp24c in this case and then function site is like bth right that we are happy with and select the latest firmware and then hit update button so that will update the firmware so you make sure all the time that your zigbee is running on the latest firmware So once it is done, we will be ready to change the settings according to what we wanted to do with our XP modules. By the way, the Zigbee that we are using here is the S2C, Zigbee S2C radio module. Okay, now you can see radio firmware has been updated successfully. Hit OK. And you have a plenty of options and settings here that you have to modify according to what you really want to do with the Zigbees. So in this case, our idea is to communicate to Zigbee. So we should have to configure one Zigbee in a router mode and second Zigbee in a coordinator mode. So we should have to keep the PAN ID of both of the Zigbee would be similar. So I would like to give it the one, two, three, four, which is a very simple and then hit right button here okay the next thing we have to do is we have to enable this jb channel verification for router zigbee okay then the next thing is we have to give the node identifier so we could easily identify the nodes so i would give it the name like a router simple enough so you will see here it will change you can see now the name is a router so i think i have given extra space so i would write once again the same name router and then we have to make sure that our zigbee would be into the api mode so there should be something called ap that is api enable option there you have to select api enable and hit right button once it is done i think everything is set to go now the zigbee is ready so uh, the zigbee is in router mode it is all set to go so what i can do is i would remove the zigbee and i would connect another zigbee right so let me connect the zigbee which we want to configure into the coordinator so again, I would click on the search button. I select the COM port and then hit next and then finish. It would be similar as we have done for the first router Zigbee.
So add selected device and now I would click on the Zigbee that we have detected. So it will load the default setting there in the Zigbee radio module and I'm going to update the firmware once again so you don't update and then everything looks good here let it firmware and I would hit update button and it will again take a couple of minutes as always Okay, now this firmware update is done and we have to set the band ID 1234 as the previous one. And then we don't have to touch here JV channel verification for the coordinator. We just go directly to the coordinator enable bit. So we have to enable so that this Zigbee would start acting as a coordinator. So write this bit, enable. Then we have to look for node identifier. So change it to coordinator. Okay, and the next step is to look for AP bits. API enable. So I have to make it API enable and write once again. So now both Zigbee has configured into um, coordinator and router mode. So I would going to remove this Zigbee and I am going to connect both the Zigbees together right now. So you can connect the Zigbee, another Zigbee and both Zigbees con connected now to my laptop. And I would going to hit this add radio module button. And you can see right now both the Zigbee is wide. So I would select the first uh, four number, COM4, the first Zigbee, and hit finish. And you can see now coordinator with C and hit um, again the plus button and then select the next COM6 and then hit finish. So you will get another Zigbee, router Zigbee. Now we have the coordinator and router both the Zigbee here. So if I click on individual Zigbee, in the left pan, it will pop up the settings, which we already have set it up, so we don't need to worry about it right now. So what we need to do is we have to select the coordinator and then here upper right corner, there is a option called switch to console working mode. So I would hit on that and you will see now it's in a console mode where we can able to exchange the messages between this both Zigbee's and make sure whether they can able to talk to each other over wireless. So I would going to expand this a little bit to make it more readable here. So we can at least see uh, the MAC address of this both Zigbee, right? Then I would going to hit on this router Zigbee and you can see it's also been automatically switched onto the console mode, okay? So I am going to close this both connections so that this both Zigbee are now talking to each other, okay? And I would going to select or maybe copy the MAC address of the router. So I would going to uh, right click on the router. Okay, let me right click on the router and copy the MAC address. And then I would go back to coordinator and I would create a frame. So um, the data have been sent from one Zigbee to other Zigbee um, in the form of frame, especially in API mode. So we have to create a frame and then that frame we have to send from coordinator to router. So whenever coordinator sends something, some message in the form of frames that will be received in a router. So that's the way we going to uh, transmit the data from uh, one Zigbee to other Zigbee. That means a coordinator to router. So let's create a frame. So I would going to 
click on this add new frame button here and then I would click on create and then select the protocol Zigbee as it is I will leave it then select transmit request here and in 64 bit destination bit address you know that's why I have copied the routers uh, router Zigbee's MAC address so I would going to paste that if you want you can verify but I'm sure and I'm going to send um, a message called hello from coordinator right and this will be received on the coordinator uh, router and sorry when coordinator sends so here's a frame that we have created and I would going to select this frame and I will hit on send selected frame and you can see now the frame has been transmitted and there is a transmit status if you click on this right color right fonts transmit status and you will make sure that it is delivery status is success so if you go back to your router if you click on the router in the left pan you will see there is something some packet has been received and this if you click on this receive packets you would get the message that's been sent by your coordinator sick bean so hello from coordinator so now what router is saying that he also wants to send some message to the coordinator so that we would make sure that both are talking to each other uh, i mean the bi-directional transmission right so what i'm going to do is i would going to copy the mac address of the coordinator by right clicking on um, coordinator copy mac address create a frame in the router because we are already on the router right now so i would hit on create frame again protocol will be zigbee and frame type will be transmit request and i would going to paste the mac address of my coordinator zigbee and uh, router says he want to send hello from router right and then hit ok to create this frame add this frame select this frame and hit on send selected frame so once you send hello from router from router it will be received at coordinator so if you go back to coordinator you will see coordinator also received a packet a frame you know so if you click on receive packets you make sure that you have the same message hello from router so this is the way that you're going to make sure that both zigbee has been configured uh, into especially the first Zigbee is configured into coordinator API mode and the second Zigbee that we have configured into router API mode and uh, they both are now talking to each other so maybe in the next video we would going to connect this to uh, Arduino and Raspberry Pi or maybe Arduino and we would going to do much fun projects so I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining thank you very much for watching this video bye bye